This is Todd Stevens with your Monday Minute. It is June 14th, and I'll tell you what, there are three things in South Carolina that people love to talk about. They like to talk about politics, they like to talk about the weather, and they like to talk about football. Well, let me tell you something, it's not football season. And it sure is political season if you've been watching the news, and it sure is hot. Yesterday the heat index was 107, and they say it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Well, you can see what it did to my hair yesterday. And, um, but anyway, it is summertime in South Carolina, and there's one thing we know. When it comes to public library services, we're here in good weather and in bad weather, and folks love to come to the public library during the summer for summer reading programs, activities, or just to cool off and enjoy a book. You know, I get that question a good bit. Todd, what do you enjoy reading? Well, let me show you. I love reading the local newspaper. This is the Farmer Carroll Journal Sports section. Some great headlines here, one out of Gaffney, uh, one about Clemson here about their baseball team and then there's this article down here about coastal Carolina out there on Myrtle Beach but um, seems to be a problem looks like a third of my newspaper is missing well, let's try something else I love reading news magazines this is Times magazine on Facebook huh we have a problem here looks like a third of it is missing so um, hmm well, I can tell you this, between my 7th and 8th grade years during the summer, I read the book Robinson Crusoe. This is a fantastic book for boys. Uh, you know, a guy living on an island and uh, surviving, great story. So I would recommend this book to you, but look, looks like we have a problem here. A third of it is missing. You know, that's kind of frustrating, isn't it? I'll tell you this, if the House and the Senate do not override Veto 31 tomorrow in Columbia. That's pretty much what library services are going to look like in Spartanburg County. We are at risk of losing one third of our material budget if the House and the Senate do not override Veto 31. And while that's important to us here in Spartanburg, it's important for you to understand that the small rural communities are in jeopardy. The ha Allendale, Hampton, Jaspers, uh, the Colletons, the Williamsburgs, and the Cormacks, the small rural communities where really their only community resource in that county is the public library, they're in jeopardy of closing. And quite frankly, if Veto 31 is not overridden, it will decimate public library services throughout, throughout our state. So I have some information for you. Um, this is the House of Representatives number, and this is the Senate's phone number. And what we're talking about here is Veto 31. If you are so inclined and you want to help, you may contact the House and the Senate and ask them to veto, to override Veto number 31. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll hand this to you. It's up to you to participate if you so choose. Anyway, uh, library services are at risk. And so we ask uh, for your participation and help in trying to make a difference. This is Todd Stevens with your Monday Minute. Thank you very much for checking in with us today.